I want to talk about creating some 3D walkthroughs. But before we jump into that topic, I want to kind of expand on what we talked about in our previous clip. So in our previous clip, I'm going to go ahead and select the, root, the view we set up. We set up this view, and I'm going to go ahead and select it until my grips show. And I'm going to jump to my floor plan really quick so that I can expose my camera. When we set this up, we had an option, which you won't see here just yet, but it was a perspective option. Now, you know that you are setting up a perspective, one, because when you set up your view, you can automatically tell, your eye automatically knows what a perspective and what an elevation is. But when you're working with your camera and camera and your 3D walkthrough, you can either make something perspective or it's not. So in the case for our 3D image that we created of our entertainment room, we selected perspective. Now, had we not selected perspective, we had created something a little bit different, which would have had different results. And I'll show you really quick because that can affect how your walkthrough is set up as well. So if you recall, we went back to 3D view, camera, and here's where we, on our options bar, you can actually see where that perspective option is. Now, eye level, we know that offset, we played with that one, and we know we're going to be doing our shot on level one. But what happens if we deselect perspective? You'll notice that scale automatically appears. Well, that's because you can document an interior elevation. It's really hard to document a perspective with accurate dimensions. So if you wanted to do an interior elevation, you can either use this method or you could possibly use a section into the building. It really depends on you. But take a look at what happens uh, if we set up a camera, similar view, um, in, with perspective not checked. So you can actually see instead of that triangle we basically just get a line that lets us know that it's going to hit perpendicular to whatever surface we're aiming at so we'll go through this wall and you can see what it does so this is the same view with perspective not selected and this is the view with perspective selected so you could see the the results and depending on what you're trying to achieve you know uh, you're going to want to either select or not select in our case we want perspectives so I'm going to go ahead and de get rid of this view here that we created that we're not going to need anymore by right clicking it and go to delete so with that in mind let's set up our, th our, our three walkthrough so we'll go to pro project browser level one we're going to go back to our 3d view and instead of camera we're actually going to go to walkthrough this time so as I mentioned before you're going to want to keep perspective selected otherwise you're going to get that very flat 2d walk through that just is really confusing and you really can't tell what's going to go on the effect is going to be very similar to what we saw in the previous uh, exercise so keeping perspective selected my high level set to about five six or five feet six inches and we're going to do this from level one I'm simply going to use this X or what's on my cursor here and I'm going to simply click anywhere I want to place the path because basically what we're doing is now aligning the path and when we're done with that then I'm going to go ahead and click finish walkthrough but before we do anything I want to determine the walkthrough what's the purpose of my walkthrough what do I want people to experience well I want to assume that someone's gonna walk in the front door I want them to walk through my kitchen and I want them to walk to the space that we're gonna create the entertainment room view and then I want them to walk all the way out and exit throughout the back door and look at some trees so with that in mind I'm simply gonna click and create a path that shows that so let's scroll in using my wheel I'm gonna scroll in and I'm gonna start here at my front door I'm gonna do my first click and you'll notice my perspective view appears here now I can simply do the next click which is gonna determine the next placement of my path and this is a lot like placing splines if you've ever worked with those and I'm simply clicking in all the areas that I want to be viewed keeping in mind that I have perspective on and wherever you see my blue lines hit is going to be my path and it's also going to be, see, be determine what I'm seeing here now it's going to be important that we don't really fly through any walls but if we do fly through walls there's a few ways that we can make some adjustments and I'll show you how we can do those momentarily so again we're going to come out here out the front and I'm just going to scroll out pan down and I'm going to bring out my path to kind of come out here and I want to come out here and kind of see some trees and we can actually kind of walk all the way back so now I'm just gonna hit escape once and that'll automatically finish that for me or I could have just came up here and clicked it but escape basically let me clear that particular tool or that command so now I have my actual walkthrough in place so now what we can do is we can test out this walkthrough so if you select the walkthrough to where it's hidden or where it's uh, selected and it's blue and you click over here to the top right and go on edit walkthrough 
all this will appear. So your walkthrough is comprised of a few things. You have your path, which is the blue line. You have your key frames, which are these red dots. And you have your camera, your target, and basically what we're going to be seeing within this perspective. Now what we can do is we'll do a real quick test. And I'll show you what happens when we don't really make any adjustments. And then later on, we'll go back and really refine this walkthrough. So the first thing I want to do is if I notice, this was the last place I ended up, right? So that means I'm at the end of my path. So if I come here to my walkthrough and I click to previous keyframe, I can actually click and go backwards. But if I click on this one, this one will actually have me jump back to each red dot. So this one will let me go back in a little more refined way. But this one will actually let me go back to each main keyframe as opposed to each frame. So I'm going to go back to the very first keyframe. Again, this method here will allow you to do each frame. And this one will let you do each keyframe. Keyframe will let you bounce around to the red dots. So we'll go back to the beginning. And now I'm going to press play. And we'll take a look at what happens here. Actually, what we need to do really quick is we'll go ahead and jump to that view. If you ever play it and watch this camera move, it's because we've seen it. We're watching this in the plan move, in the plan view. So you can actually see the path and see all the things that are going to kind of be visible in that view. Uh, I'm not going to edit out, but I do want to go back. Well, since we're back at our original, we're already in good shape. But I do want to go ahead and jump to that walkthrough. So now that we've created that path in our floor plan, we can now access it here in our project browser just below our elevations we have a new field that appears called walkthroughs and now I can experience it so in my floor plan I can actually see my path and edit my path which we'll do later but I actually generate a totally new 3d view or 3d walkthrough view so while we're here let's go ahead and name this one so I'm gonna right click it rename it and we can say um, we'll give it a name something different than what was already there so you can see how it's done so we just type in the name we want here we'll say walk through a in this case and I'm gonna say okay and then that's how we can really quickly name it so now I can select this walkthrough and I'm gonna click it twice until I see my grips appear and now what we can do is we go back to edit walkthrough and now when I play it from here we can actually see what's going on and take a look at how fast that is it's like we're actually running through this. So I'd actually say this is probably a run through instead of a walk through. But have no fear. There's a few adjustments we can make. And I'm going to show you how we can work with frames, uh, keyframes, frames per second to really get this to get to the speed that we want and the experience that we want. So there you go. We have it. We set up our first walk through. But now we're going to refine it and get away from the setting up. And we're really going to be intentional with it. And we're going to make some adjustments to slow this down and also edit the path a little bit. So I'll meet you in the next clip where we'll refine our 3D walkthrough.